I'm Anil Kumar. In this video, we'll explore dot products. The question here is, given vector u equals to 4 minus 3, find a, a unit vector in the direction of u, and part b is a vector perpendicular to vector u. As you know, unit vector will have magnitude of 1, and direction of the given vector u. So normally, you can use this formula. Unit vector could be represented like this, is equal to vector divided by its magnitude, right? That gives you unit vector. So we'll use this formula to find the unit vector. So unit vector u will be equal to the vector, which is 4 minus 3 divided by its magnitude which is square root of 4 square plus minus 3 square correct? so that gives us 4 minus 3 square root of 16 plus 9 which is equal to this is equal to 25 square root which is 5 right so it is right here magnitude will be 1 for this unit vector when you divide the vector by its own magnitude right which is 25 and 25 square root is 5 so I could write this as 4 over 5 minus 3 over 5 correct so that becomes the unit vector u in the direction of u right now the second part of this question is to find a vector perpendicular to u. Now let us say that vector a is perpendicular to vector u. In that case, a dot u should be equal to 0, right? That's important to understand. We don't know what a is, but we could write this as component form a1, a2 dot vector u is given to us 4 minus 3 equal to 0 that means 4a1 minus 3a2 equal to 0 now different combinations of a1 and a2 can give you the result the best which we normally take is take a2 as this number 4 right? in that case a1 will be 3 correct in that case a1 will be 3 so if a2 equals to 4 then 4 a1 minus 3 times 4 equals to 0 or a1 equals to 3 times 4 taking on the right is 12 divided by 4 is 3 is that okay so we get the vector a as a1 is 3 for us and A2 as 4, correct? So that is how you can get the unit vector. In R2, you will observe that if u is 4 minus 3, so what we do is we kind of swap. So we are getting the vector A as 3, 4, right? Swap and change one sign. So, so the idea is swap, then change one sign. Correct? So these two steps can help you get perpendicular vector in R2, correct? Now, as an exercise, what you can do is you can verify your result. That is, dot product. Is it zero or not, right? So, I'll leave that for you as an exercise. I'm Anil Kumar, and I hope that helps. You can like, share, and comment on my videos. Thank you, and all the best.